Slay the princess. Do it. We doubt, unfortunately, oh. Oh. your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Look, 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 look how she fucking getting ready to. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to See, the bro? See? This is a horror game that is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website, blacktabbygames.com, if you need a full list of content warning. Slay the Princess contains flickering images, uh, flickering images effects, as well as a, a, a parallax effect that on rare occasions has called motion sickness in players. Goddamn. If either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game preferences. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. So we playing Slay the Princess, you heard? The description is, is short and brief. They're like, they're here to slay the princess. Don't believe her lies. What are we talking about? Don't believe her lies. Let's see what we'll see what happens. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Mm -hmm. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. God damn. Oh, so is this timed or? Oh, I got mad choices. What the fuck, bro? Holy God, bro. Explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Or killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Or can someone else do this? Or forget it. I'm not doing this. Or have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Or do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Or Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what, what what to do. Sweet. I've always wanted to offer Monarch. Leave a lot. What? God damn, bro. Turn around and leave is crazy, bro. That's the. I'm black, so, you know. The end of the world, what I'm are you talking, talking about? about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. God damn. What? How can a princess locked away in a basement be the end of the world? Or, if you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Or, do you have any evidence to back this up? Or, have you considered that maybe the only- Okay, that one's already there. Um, let's see, let's see. I need evidence, big baby. Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Mm -hmm. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. Mm -hmm. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end. Mm -hmm. There is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. 
So is it like a scrambled egg or is it like an omelet or or like what well, like what are we talking about? Fried egg, boiled. What are we talking about? Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. All right. So I'll I'll say I'll say look I'll go in. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning: mm -hmm. if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. I ain't let this bitch. Then each and every one of us is doomed. I ain't let this. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You I... make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Mm -hmm. I ain't let this bitch uh, convince me or coerce me into doing anything I don't want to do. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm going to take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Enter the basement. I don't like how the music changed. What are we talking about? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Ah, damn. Well, I'm, I'm gonna slide myself up real quick so I can uh, uncover the, um, the joins, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Oh, so I got the knife in the, in the I got the knife in the, I got the doohickey. They gave me the doohickey. So the cursor, I don't know if you see, you can't see, probably can't see the cursor, but the cursor is, is a hand holding the doohickey. Her voice carries up the stairs. Hell no. Who's there? That bitch sound American. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Don't even say nothing. Just continue downstairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the t And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Damn. What? No way. Why would you even think that? I would what if alright, so so boom. So boom. What if alright, so what if you try to convince her to try to sweet talk her and stuff like that? Let her let her know that, you know, I'm cool, I'm just trying to chill, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to chill. She get in close to you and stuff and you go boom, you hit her right in her shit. Mmm, mmm, you know? Because you have, okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. This guy says, nah, -uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. And it says, steal your nerves and step forward. Should I go against him? Or should I, should, I, should, I, should I talk to her a little bit? I'll be like, no. All right. The giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? You right? 
The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't drop you what? Dare. Drop what? It's fine. We can decide what Hell we need to do no, bro. after we talk to her. Maybe nah. she really is a monster. Nah, 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 nah. Cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Nah, 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 nah. We're not dropping that knife, gang. Nah, tighten your grip, gang. Tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands. Yeah, it looks good, bitch. Tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening I'm, as you steal your resolve. I'm ten toes the fuck down. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. She got another hand, though. That's the only so, problem. You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Oh, she's disgusting. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Because, it, like, if I walk up on her, I wonder what happens if I just slay the princess. Because, because are they just gonna fucking, you know, she all of a sudden she's the bitch turned into Scarlet Witch and start going crazy? Hell no, that bitch is Scarlet Witch. She's disgusting. Look how she's looking at me. Chill out, Wanda. Chill out. Slay the princess. Do it. We doubt, unfortunately, oh. Oh. your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Look, 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 look. Look how she fucking getting ready to. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to See, your jaw. bro. See. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. Oh, she. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. God damn. Holy shit, that hurts. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. All you gotta do is, is, is narrow to flip backwards. Your blade slashes through the air again and again, oh. and her fists connect with your body as many times oh. or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Oh, God. We can still turn this around. All right, so I slashed her. I slashed her a couple times. So slashed her, boom, slashed her in her, in her shit right here, and her slash. Finish the job, bro. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath. What's up, my hand? Exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't Who make is it this? out of here either. Excuse me. Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Yo, she's fucking this nigga up. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade Who is this bitch? Is Goku? Princess's heart. She, she ate that shit. She said, mm, fuck it. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. She's gangster. I ain't gonna lie. This was fun. Oh, she gangster. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder. Hmm. Do you really think this is the end? There you go. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. Listen to this, man. Chapter 2, Adversary. Like, bro, what the fuck? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. Is this going like? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh shit. This is 
is I'm getting I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? She's gonna kill me again. But I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why? I'm gonna go with that one. I can one. assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Oh, this is disgusting. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. You a bitch. That, 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 that's, that's a secret I'm keeping from you, whole ass nigga. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. So let's assume I'm telling the truth. And all of this is really just, uh, really did all already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. This narrator is a bitch. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Mm, I don't know about that, but baby, I went up into to stab her and her shit. We did our best with the information we were given, and we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually so do I have this to, right. I have to stay alive. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Hmm. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? A bitch of Scarlet Witch. Ugh, enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. Just be quick about it. Let's talk about the princess. Okay, so it says we killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that it doesn't happen again? Or all she did last time around was beat me to death. How could someone like that end the world? Oh, nigga, the way she boxed your fucking head off, nigga. You talking about? I Nigga, talking about she broke your jaw off of an uppercut, bro. That bitch is Ronda Rousey mixed with Scarlet Witch. I'm not fucking with her. To quote this, uh, 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 quote you from last time around. She's just a princess. Why was she strong enough to beat me to death with her bare hands? I, she that's a is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Nah, nigga, I'm stalling the fuck out of you, bro. Oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? Because I'm a curious George. There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Exactly, fuck, nigga. Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. Nigga, shut up. If people locked her away, why why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're oh, the God. only person capable of doing this. There Hold we go. Hold her prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got books. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Yeah. 
I like the sound of that. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Mm. What else would we even need to know? So We've you say all the reason we need for a rematch. What you say? Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. So you say. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting. That's just gonna leave, uh, turn around and leave. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go in, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in. I'm not gonna touch the knife, though. Warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from sl lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument Nigga, over she... what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable That bitch advice. got hands. It's not about her lying and cheating. That bitch got hands. She was training in that basement like it was the hyperbolic time chamber. No, bro. Cause why she break my jaw for one punch? What are we talking about? One punch woman? Stop. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So mm. don't trust her. She could have easily she could have easily broke them damn chains off Crystal. with her bare hands. Let's just get on with it already. She yoinkied this nigga to death. What are we saying? The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Mm. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. I'm not gonna take the I'm not gonna take the blade. Even the cabin has the right idea. Even Let's the cabin has the right moving. idea is crazy. I'm not taking the blade this time. I'm not taking the blade this time. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm not taking the blade this time. This whole this whole cabin is different from last time. Okay. Approach the mirror. So this is different things. You didn't say anything about the mirror in the wall. Isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? I'm approaching this mirror, bro. I'm approaching this mirror. Fuck it. Fuck these niggas. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. I'm scared, dude. I don't want to see what I look like. You reach forward. See, bro. I told you this nigga is. The cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I told, bro. I told you this nigga. This nigga is demonic or something, bro. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Very different. It's different. It's definitely different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. The world is depending on you. I'm gonna go downstairs without the knife. No knife this time. Right then, fisticuffs it is. <laughs> fisticuffs is crazy. More fair to her anyway. We more want fair to feel to like her. we cheated our way to a win. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. Bruh. The door to the basement creaks open, this revealing should look a different. rough stone staircase, mm -hmm. its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. Mm. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, mm. with an almost sulfuric odor to it. Mm. 
If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Sulfuric older odor smell like fart. Somebody farted. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Another. Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. That bitch sounds crazy. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. Voice is stubborn, trying to fuck. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused That's not and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Doesn't sound like blood is going to some some other head to, for for a uh, voice of stub stubborn. You know what I'm saying? Freak ass nigga. As you descend the oh, final shit. step, the form uh, maybe of I the princess the knife. comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good mm -hmm. to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. Mm. But no little knife this time, huh? Mm -mm. Ugh, I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. Mm. 